In last two week, we have discussed regarding the JavaScript different different kind of functions, array and lot of them, right? <coughs> before uh, today, we are going to start with the TypeScript. But before going to start with type, uh, TypeScript, we have to know basic concept, whatever you have to know from from to start the TypeScript. Okay. Let me go and discuss about something called variable. From, we are going to from first one variable. Show you something. Hey, this is the basic you have to understand the variable concept. Hence, you know that to declare a variable in JavaScript, we require the var keyword. Okay. Like var, suppose name equal to John. And bar h equal to 18. First example. If I go and log this to name log h. A second, let me open on this. Okay. <clears throat> Means when you add a variable, if you want to declare a variable, you have to give the var equal var and the variable name and the variable value. Okay. Now the concept, the things will be data type. Like on the initial days, we have discussed about what is a data type. Means the type of a variable we call a data type means here you can see the name is a string type right name is a string type string means it's a group of character and age is a number type but in javascript due to it's not a strictly type means means you can assign any number of type just example you can see that console.log i have print age next go and change age to x y z okay then let me print log h you can see initially you can see that in output initially the age is print as 18 if i going to change the age to x y z then it's going to display age as x y z but if you are coming a banger from like java or c -sharp, or any of the strongly programming language, strongly type programming language, you know that if you want to declare a variable, whatever type you define, you can see the type is number here, right? Type is number here. Later, you cannot change the type of a variable. Means if here you can see the type of the variable is 18, whereas the age were defined as a string. This should not be happen, but due to javascript is a non type set like non type safety application means if you can define a variable and you if you are going to assign the value in different different type for example here the type is 18 here the type is number here the type is xyz same way you can go and type as false <coughs> if you go to log it you can see that my age is displaying 18 x y z and false or same as if you're going to assign true it's going to be true if you imagine in three stages i have changed the different different type of the variable okay example i have changed, i have initially defined the variable as 18 as a number second i have assigned as a string third i assign as a boolean you can imagine that is the problem in javascript means once you declare a variable the problem is later you can able to change the different different type of value what happening in javascript in javascript what happening when you declare a variable 
and assign a value example this is your variable okay and this is your value this is your value just example huh? this is your one of the variable name and this is your value what happening in javascript when you assign the value to a variable that time this variable type getting changed means if it's a string sorry if it's a string then type of this variable become a string if it's a number then type of the variable is number if it's a boolean then it's type of the variable getting boolean means just imagine initial initially you define this age as a number but later someone come and change the variable type that is a severe problem right now the question is how you know that what is the type of a type of a variable in in javascript if you want to know the type of a variable then you have to simply use type of operator example <clears throat> I'm going to explain it again more. Suppose you want to see what is the type of this age. I'm saying type is number because you are able to see that it's a number. But how program knows that? Okay, this is a number. For that reason, in JavaScript, there is a predefined keyword called type of. Okay. Then type of operator is going to check what is the type of a variable. Let me execute if you refresh you can see that the type of number is here you can see the age is 18 here and type of age is is displaying number same way if i go and set age as xyz and print this type of age if you refresh you can see that is saying string same way if i go for assign this <coughs> age as a boolean and if press then you can see that displaying boolean means what i'm trying to say to here in javascript there is a flexibility okay where you can go and change the type of the variable based on the value means whenever you assign a value to a variable that time the type of the variable is going to define okay <clears throat> now you will ask what is the default type of a variable okay now initial days i have defined initially defined the type of the variable is number due to that displaying number but just example i will define another variable same way just defining a age variable okay defining age variable then i am i am going to assign age equal to 18. i will ask what is the type of this age okay because i did not assign anything then what is the type of age let me show you what is the type of age. If you can see that the type of age is undefined. Always remember, note it down. If you don't assign any value to a variable in JavaScript, the default type, the type means people like the data type. Okay, the what is type of the value? The data type of the variable is undefined. Always remember this term called undefined. Okay, means let me repeat again if you don't declare a variable value means the same way age equal to 18 you don't declare and just declare a variable that time only your default type of a variable is undefined okay and if you are going to assign the value to the variable based on the variable based on the value type based on the value here you can see that the value is string here you can see the value is boolean means based on the value the variable type getting changed that is in the in the javascript you can do this kind of programming why we are able to do all this kind of programming because due to the javascript javascript is a not a type safety language <coughs> now you ask what is a not type safety language because if people coming from the Java or C sharp, which the programming are the strongly typed, means just giving an example, when you declare a variable, just example programming int x equal to 10. Just example. What happening? Here, for declaring any of the variable, we are declaring the keyword called var. But 
if you coming from C or C++ or any other programming or if you know that to define a variable first we are giving the data type right means this is a data type let me explain it again this is a data type means int is a data type then x is a this is the data sorry this one is the data type okay this one is the data type name means this is a variable name and this one is the value means later you can only able to assign the integer type not string type whereas in case of javascript if you declare a variable you can change the variable type based on the value that is one of the demerits of a javascript now I'll ask, okay, uh, why demerits? Because it's give me a flexibility to change any type of variable based on my required. Okay, that is all the time. Okay, this is giving you flexibility that you can change the data type of a variable based on the value. But all the time, this is not required. Just an example, you are always expecting A should be a number. Just imagine, you're expecting A should be a number. But initially, you are not going to define age is a number or not okay means you are always expecting a should be a number but whereas what happening but you, you are not defining what is the type of a age due to that the javascript is a non type safety language you can change the type based on your value okay just imagine why then require this type of checking because suppose you are writing a library okay just example you are writing some library and that library function requires some input as a number then you have to instruct to the developer okay for this function you have to pass the number only but if you go and use javascript then you you are not going to set the instruction to the developer okay you need to pass the integer because in javascript there is no concept of data type based on the value data type is going to define but suppose you want to set a data type of suppose you want to set a data type of a variable then there is a concept of typescript <coughs> means the typescript if you if you know that we have no javascript and then comes upon typescript okay typescript means type means here the concept of data type okay means if you want to define any of the variable or any of the data type any of the uh, variable any of the class or anything in the programming you have to go a pure strongly type programming language okay what is strongly programming language means you cannot no more define var age equal to 18 then you will go and set age equal to x, y, z. You cannot. I am saying, because I am saying that way, once you declare a variable, you have to specify what is the type of a variable. You clear? That is the first difference between a JavaScript and TypeScript. We will go TypeScript in depth, but you have to understand why TypeScript required in top of the JavaScript. The only first difference is in javascript you are not going to define the type of a variable type means data type okay you are not going to define a type of a variable whereas if you go to typescript the you can see the typescript means the first concept is if you're defining anything in the java in the typescript you have to go to know what is a typescript type means if you're declaring age suppose just example if you're declaring age bar age bar age equal to 18 then you have to specify this age should be a number means uh, if you go and write that int age equal to 18 this is a javascript this is a typescript okay this is actually not a correct syntax syntax but you have to know this is what you, whatever we are going to achieve in type in typescript over to a javascript in javascript there is no concept of the type but whereas in typescript is a concept of data type that is the origin of a typescript then as you know if in typescript you want to define any variable if you define anything in the java typescript you have to first know what are the data type you have to understand okay that is the basic of a typescript 
anyone any doubt on this TypeScript means why TypeScript required? The first TypeScript required is in JavaScript you are not going to define the data type and whereas in TypeScript you can go and define the data, data type of a variable. Means you ensure to the program the age always be a number. Means always be your age is a number. Okay. But in case of JavaScript you don't know what is the name what is the name of the, what is the type of a variable that is the use of a type script okay. here the basic concept let's go and we have to understand different different type of how we can go and de define a variable in type script but before to going into that uh, like type script, all these things you have to know another two keyword to define a variable you know that in a in a javascript var is used to define a variable suppose var suppose gender equal suppose female okay. what happening i have declared a variable called gender and the value equal to female okay give another example var uh, the same concept suppose voting is equal to 18 what about this gender one uh, i'll go later just imagine i have declared a variable called voting age equal to 18 now next you can change the voting age to uh, suppose 21 right next you can change the voting age to any other value suppose 30 just example what happening here you can define a variable and you can assign the variable to this assign a value to the variable n number of times it's based on a requirement you want to define the n number of times but i want to define a variable the variable value always be fixed when it's declared means in this case what happening if you declare a variable you can change the type of the value of the variable based on your requirement but what i'm trying to say it here i want to declare a variable and the value always be fixed and that value i cannot change later example in this case what i'm trying to say it here so i have said voting age is 18 no one can go and change the voting age Okay, but here you can see i can able to change the voting age to solve this kind of problem like solve if you de define anything and no one going to change it if you're going to solve this kind of problem there is a keyword called const const means constant okay what i'm trying to say it here let me go and define const <coughs> const Voting age equal to 18. I have defined a variable called voting age and set equal to 18. Instead of using where, I have used the keyword called const. Okay. Now, what is giving me any fit? It's giving if I go and change voting age to 21. Okay. What will happen? Let me go and show you. You can see there is a getting an error here. What's error you are getting? You are getting on caught type error assignment to the constant variable means it's saying you cannot assign the value of a variable after it's declare a const. Always remember the first example and the second example. The same example I have defined a variable called voting age and assign the value 18 later i have changed this voting age to different 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 value but i don't want to do this kind of assignment means once i declare a variable and that time the variable is constant okay later if i go and change this variable then what will happen <coughs> it's going to throw me an error okay for that you have to use the keyword called const const means it's no as it's a constant okay if anyone know in java or csf there is a concept called static 
okay static like you want to declare it's declared right like the same also in programming also there is a concept called const also the like constant okay if you're going to de declare a variable as constant or declare something as a constant it's a constant later you cannot go and change this variable value that is the same thing you can do in javascript using the const okay if you declare a variable as a const or constant then what will happen it will go to change it, it, it cannot be going to change the variable value after it's once declared then it will ask what is the use of this one the only use suppose you are declaring a variable and saying that okay this value is always going to be this value it cannot be more than this or no one is going to change that okay in that case you will go and declare this const as a keyword then variable name equal to value clear anyone all clear right what is the difference between var and const both are equal only difference is in variable you can change the value later whereas in the um, uh, in case of const you cannot change the value once it declare or once it assign this is the basic difference between var and const okay let me see any question no question clear let's go and discuss about another keyword called let what is let there is a two type of javascript version <coughs> two types of javascript version, version means from from initial days to 2009 there is a one javascript and from 2009 to 2015 or 16 or up to us there is another javascript in this two javascript lot of thing got changed means initial days in javascript only we have var keyword to declare a variable you have to understand all these things why it's required initial days var is a keyword is only used to define a variable but later what happening the browser got updated and new new uh, like new new concept of javascript is coming like ecmascript uh, 2015 or ecmascript 6 or whatever is coming in that case they have added different different type of keyword in the javascript to like give the more functionality into a javascript why because nowadays javascript is used to develop web application mobile application as well as a tv application means if you know javascript they can you also write different different platform programming like if you know javascript you can write a node.js application like create a api if you know a javascript you can able to create a web application using angular or react if you know javascript also you can able to develop the mobile application using phone gap ionic etc means these are different different framework also you can know javascript using the react native you can develop a mobile application also but suppose you want to develop tv application using javascript also you can do if you know the amazon fire stick and this uh, um, the google, google like google google tv all the ways you can write the javascript programming you can run your tv OS. now what happening the old javascript is not going to give you that much flexibility you can write all these things nowadays what happening the new javascript version are coming like uh, ecmascript 2015 ecmascript 6 all these are coming I mean these are the modern javascript in modern javascript there is a new things is coming into mind like this const is not in the old javascript it is a new javascript same way where is the first the where keyword is initial days that is a when javascript started to declare variable it's there using the where but there is a new keyword come that is called let it's called let guys this is a interview question for all all is going to ask what is the difference between var and a let okay let me define let me first define then i'm going to discuss in depth as you define var x equal to 10 same way i can go and define var y equal to 18. Okay. now i'll ask let me log it okay go and log it the control dot log y refresh go and refresh you can see that i'm able to see 80 because i have assigned 80. now you will ask 
why i require if if my objective is going to like uh, come finish in this x equal to define a variable qr then why go and define this let variable let me go and explain in depth you have to understand all these things this is the basic difference between var and let okay let me go you can see these two statement this x and y both are looks equal the only difference is var is the one keyword let is another keyword right we have to understand the basic of a var and x when you going to define when you going to understand the var and let you have to understand last class we discuss about when we discuss a function we discuss the concept of a scope okay you have to understand the concept of a scope what is a scope in function we know that to define a scope means it's a boundary where you are going to write a program right suppose you are giving a function name, name suppose add and this r i have given this curly bracket right means r is a function and inside that i am giving this curly bracket means this is for me the scope got it means curly bracket start curly bracket end whatever code i'll go and write in between this curly bracket two curly bracket, curly bracket that is my scope means i am creating a block my code will go and execute in this scope means this is a curly bracket start this is my curly bracket end and whatever code i'm going to write it's going to be displayed here this is for my scope right we discussed these things uh, like last class now when you declare when you declare any variable using the var keyword because var x equal to 18 what happening this var is a global scope okay you have to understand the, what is global scope and local scope let me show you when you declare a var x equal to 18 okay and what will happen the browser is giving this x as a global scope i am going to discuss all these things x is a global scope but if you go and disk define let x equal to 18 what will happen this let is this x is a local scope okay. i will ask you now the question what is global and what is local let me explain one by one as i told if you declare a variable called x then what happened the browser means javascript assigning this x as a global scope if you define a let x equal to 18 it's giving a local scope let me show you what is the let me do one program you can see that what is global and what is a local global scope means there is an object called window guys okay? we are going a little bit complicated nowadays you have to understand all these things if you open a browser okay if you open a browser this area this entire white spaces you can see in the programming tour we call as a document okay document or window Always remember this is this is one of the document okay but the entire thing the entire thing you are seeing here in this browser we call as a window window okay this is a window in that case what will happen when you declare a var x equal to 18 what as i told this is go create a global scope by default x is going to add to this browser means be any point of time okay if any point of time you will go and access this x you can able to access let me show you don't be confused i will going to clear all these things var x equal to 18 okay now i have print, let me print console or dot log x value You can see x value 18 the same way i'll go and print y value y i 
let me clear all this thing is not clear you can see i have two variable called x value 18 y value 18 because i have assigned x to 18 y 18 now there is a concept called global scope local scope if i define bar x equal to 18 and i want to see the scope of this x let me go and print console dot log window dot x you can see x value defining 18 then i have print the x equal to x and console dot log window x okay we'll, do, we'll discuss all this thing don't put any then we'll go and define windows dot y what you see this line it's giving you window x means it's giving you 18 value if you go and declare a variable let and using window y because y is the variable name it's giving you undefined as i told you earlier if there is a variable and there is no nothing value nothing is there it's going giving undefined okay now this is a concept of a global variable and a local variable okay what is the difference just imagine window is a object window is a variable which is going to represent this browser window okay this browser window window is a predefined keyword now predefined keyword means predefined object <clears throat> when you define a variable using the var what will happen that time this variable is going to add in the global scope means in the browser window scope but if you going and define the variable let y equal to 18 and going to log it then it is going to be local scope due to that if you print window dot x is going to define 18 because it is a global scope but window dot y is depending on defined then we'll ask then what is my benefits why my what is my requirement if it's going to add a global scope there is no problem right i can use that one i have no problem let me go clear this example using some different problem. okay okay let me do print something let i need to print from 1 to 5 okay bar i equal to i equal to uh, suppose uh, 1 from i less than equal to 5 i plus plus Hey, please understand all these things. If anyone any question, just unmute and just talk to me because I, I, I cannot go and check all the messages. Just just talk to me, okay? If any question, just ask me. Let me loop it. Loop from 1 to 5 using var. You have to understand this thing is a basic basic thing you have to know. Okay, what I'll do? I'll do console.log. Simple refresh you can able to see that i can able to print one two three four five okay let me go and print console dot log i you guys like see that where i equal to one i less than five i plus plus console dot log i then what will happen you can see one two three four five is printing later what i'll do I let me print console log i due to when you declare a variable i in this scope variable i in this area you are expecting this variable should not be accessed outside got my point when you declare this var i inside this scope scope means this is a one of the square bracket means this is a function body one of the conditional when you define this variable in this scope, we are expecting that okay, this variable should not be accessed outside. But due to I told this when you declare a var that should be a global scope, means this var also is declaring here as well as this is go and access outside of this scope. Due to that, if I go and log i, you can see after 5 it displaying 6. Okay, let me go and <clears throat> declare the same function using let okay for let uh, suppose j equal to 1 
j is less than equal to 5 j plus plus okay. and console dot log j and down let me print console dot j console dot log using let let me show you something this is my output window right right please understand all this thing carefully what is the difference between var and let because going forward we are not going to use var that is use why not going to use you have to understand this using this example in this first example you can see i have declared a variable called i and it's going to print from 1 to 5 later if i go and print console.log i i can able access this variable and get the value if you go and we are doing the same example instead of i we are going to use the j and the variable instead of a var we are using the let you can see it's also going to print from 1 to 5 but if you go and print this console.log equal to log j I means this j variable it's saying that referenced error j is not defined I think you all people clear what is the difference between a i and j. Clear? Okay. Means what will happen when you declare a variable using the let, it will always be a local scope. Local means this variable will go to declare here and it will be end after this. Means this is this is its scope. But if you go and declare a variable using var is going to be accessed throughout this scope that is the use of and that is the basic difference between var and let and this will be your interview question if you attend any of the interview they are going to ask you the same question what is the difference between var and let you always you have to remember if you go and tell them if you are using a variable in javascript if you are going to declare a variable then this variable is a global it's a global scope scope whereas if you go and declare a variable using let that is the use of a global scope that's the reason i am saying this if you're going to define the let one the let is going to access in this area only but if you're going to declare a var what will happen it's going to access this area only as well as that var also going to access outside of the scope also that is a basic difference between let and var all are clear or do i need to explain again please let me know okay what is someone asked what is window okay all clear i'm going to explain other things but let me first clear that you already all the got it right what difference between var and let all clear right if anyone on question just let me ask okay means let me repeat it again once more if you are going to define a variable using var it's a global scope whereas define a variable called let it's a local scope it's pretty much clear this is the simple answer in the programming if you're going to ask anyone little bit to var and let okay that is the you that what we learn we have learned three keyword one is var one is let one other one is constant constant is used to define a constant variable whereas if you are going to declare a var it's a global scope when you declare a let it's a local scope that will be what we learn today now our main topic will be typescript right means we, we are required the TypeScript because we have to define a TypeScript. We are going to define the type of a variable. That is our main topic. But why I discuss all these things? Because in TypeScript, if you go, you have to know first what is a let. Without let, you cannot define a variable there. Means in TypeScript, you want to declare any of the variable. Okay, you can also use var. But I always recommended no need to use var from today's onward. 
no need to use don't use var at any cost okay always use let okay now we'll go to our main topic how to do the typescript okay before going to typescript okay you have to know how typescript work and how to, what is the architecture of a typescript then we'll go and discuss in depth in, in from tomorrow class we'll go and discuss how to maybe today we're going to install the uh, typescript and from tomorrow onwards we're going to start the typescript programming let's go that only uh, now you have a question okay is that only for define a type is that going to define a typescript programming that is a question right means only define a type means you want to define a type of uh, like variable they are going to define a redesign a programming language the answer is no the true fact is initial initial i told okay define a type we need a typescript that is true but that is the only one percent true of a typescript means typescript is not going to define only type means only data type but it's giving you the concept of object oriented programming i will ask what is object oriented programming okay that i am not going to discuss all these things details but you have to know that in a object oriented programming like java or c sharp okay means in the c sharp and dot net all are object oriented okay what is object oriented means all the things is going to access by class like your functions your member your attribute etc if you anyone don't know about the object oriented programming please go on internet and search about the oops oops concept right object oriented programming structure please go and search about that thing because we are going to do the same thing because i am not going to cover this oops concept because we have very less time but you have to understand the basic of a <coughs> oops concept means in oops there is a concept of class there is a concept of overloading function overloading like function overriding and all this inheritance polymorphism these are the basic basic terms if you if you know if you are from computer science background in your institute that you also know about all these things right the oops concept means in javascript is unstructured power language we'll, okay, first we'll go to javascript we'll understand what is the difficulty in javascript then we'll go what the typescript is going to solve okay as i told there is a no concept of a class in javascript initial days initial days there is no concept of javascript uh, like uh, our um, class in javascript that is only called a function what we learn in last class means if you want to do some kind of structural programming like inheritance polymorphism object creation assignment like you know all the oops concept programming right that is not possible using javascript to solve this kind of advanced programming like this uh, class object and uh, this inheritance polymorphism abstract class uh, interface all these things whatever you are using a programming in your basic day to day life in java or c sharp if you, you want to do the same kind of programming in javascript then you require typescript then what we learn we have learned in what we are giving javascript if we are using typescript okay then first one the first basic point is you you guys have to understand these uh, double slash is used to create the comment you people already know the comment right in programming comment means it's not going to execute by the compiler it's a comment in javascript there is two type of comment either you can go a double slash which is single line okay single line comment if you go one is slash star star slash and whatever you are going to write here it's a multi line comment understand all these things comment you have to understand because in, in each and every programming there is a concept of comment comment means this comment is not going to compile by the uh, compiler it's just an instruction for you what you are doing there is a two type of commenting in our um, javascript or type through whatever if there is a single line comment another is a multi line comment single line comment you have to use the double slash and multi line comments uh, slash star uh, star slash inside that you have to use the multi line okay 
let me go and discuss about what the TypeScript is giving to us. First one is the TypeScript. The who is creating the TypeScript? The TypeScript is backed by Microsoft. The first one is the Microsoft backed by TypeScript. Means the Microsoft is the company who developed this TypeScript. Okay. Second one. The first purpose of TypeScript is define the type of variable. Yeah. One minute, guys. Second one is the define the type of the variable. Means when TypeScript is there. Actual their meaning to define the type of the variable. Then third one, it's a oops concept means oops means object oriented programming structure means TypeScript is following the oops pattern. Oops pattern means like pass. Like a function or method, weapon is attribute. I'm going to explain all these things, okay? If you don't know what is attribute, overloading, overriding, then abstract class. Interface the end number of things is in Java uh, TypeScript, but as of now, we'll go and we'll learn all these things. Okay. But I'm recommending to everyone if if you want to start, if you want to start from, from tomorrow class, we're going to start the this TypeScript, all these things. You have to first understand all this oops concept. I'm going to like suggest everyone please go in the like any any of the Google you can search that oops concept you have to know the basic concept of oops because if you don't know oops then there is a problem you cannot understand the concept of class function attribute overloading overriding after class interface etc please it's a basic requirement you have to know this type of things but I'm going to explain all these things but in not in that depth what are that we are going to learn from the internet go and spend some time and learn about the oops concept okay now there is a question why it's required the, why it's required because the same thing i can go and do in javascript then why this is required actually required means as i told earlier now modern programming you are doing lot of things right lot of thing means you are developing the application for web mobile tv live means the satellite also like uh, all that developing in javascript all the applications for that writing a functional programming as like c if you know background from c you can know that there is no class concept in c all are in the functions but if you learn c plus plus there is a concept of class and all this object now you'll ask why i required as a class or you all know that once you define a class you can create a number of object and can you can use the concept of oops using like uh, you can define a object you can define overloading override you can do a lot of things there is a concept of oops using the typescript you can do the same kind of like oops programming using javascript that is not earlier for that reason the typescript is a super set of javascript means when, when we are going to define any of the javascript means so just imagine this is your javascript okay what happening this is javascript in between that what happening on top of that there is a typescript sorry let me give, give another one means but, but from day one i am to i am saying 
द ब्राउजर इज ओनली एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड थ्री थिंग्स एचटीएमएल सीएसएस एंड जावास्क्रिप्ट इफ यू गो एंड राइट एनी ऑफ द टाइपस्क्रिप्ट प्रोग्रामिंग इन योर ब्राउजर व्हाट विल हैपन द टाइपस्क्रिप्ट इज गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट दिस व्हाट एवर प्रोग्रामिंग यू आर राइटिंग द क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट ऑल दिस थिंग्स इज गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट दिस एंटायर कोड टू जावास्क्रिप्ट बिकॉज़ ब्राउजर इज नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड टाइपस्क्रिप्ट then you ask is then there is a question is that true that browser is not able to understand this type script i say yes always remember all the browser in this world it may be opera it may be chrome it may be firefox it may be edge anything they only knows html css and javascript and you will ask is that true i say yes because if you are going to design any of the application for browser means a browser it may be web browser it may be your like computer browser it may be your mobile browser it may be any browser they only understand these three programming html css javascript they don't know nothing okay now they will ask then why i learn this typescript the first i told typescript is giving you functionality you can do the object oriented programming in javascript then actually when you write a typescript when this programming going to compile that time this typescript compiler is converting that your entire code to javascript okay then you you have to understand typescript is just a superset of a javascript means it's it's giving you a, a like structure where you will go and write a object oriented programming in javascript actually when you compile the application in typescript it's by default go and converting to the javascript finally our output will be the javascript means what i am trying to say it here typescript is just a structure where you are going to follow and write your script after the script is written the browser is go the compiler will going to convert the typescript to javascript and browser is going to only understand this javascript always remember browser don't know this typescript okay browser don't know about this typescript it's only know about the javascript then you will ask how i can convert this typescript to javascript then there is a concept of typescript compiler okay as i told browser only understand javascript means we have to convert this typescript to javascript for that reason we required a compiler which is going to convert our typescript code to javascript in that case there is a concept of node js okay we need the concept of node js and typescript library then you ask how and go and install all these thing let me go and so how you can configure your um, javascript your typescript in your local environment for that your basic requirement is node js guys what is node js node js is javascript runtime for a server okay means if you want to execute as i told earlier days javascript is only compiled in your client machine but now days if you want to compile the javascript in your server machine then you require the concept of node js means node js is a Uh, like it it software the kind of software is giving you a functionality you can compile your javascript code in your uh, like server for that you require the concept of node js okay we we'll later will go and discuss little bit about node js later class but just imagine to write a typescript programming you have to know the concept of node js you have to know how to install the node js just go into node js your site then you have to go and download this based on suppose you are using mac or anything you go and click it there suppose windows you just go and click it here once you downloaded install it you know how to install just next 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 you have to install it okay after you install you have to check that that node js node js actually install or not just open your command prompt okay just a second open a command prompt and write node hyphen v means 
node hyphen v means i am checking what is the version of it node js you can see that i have my, in my local i have installed 14.11 i have installed long back due to that it is not uh, updated its version 1, 11 point something for you suppose it's a 16 point always you don't install this one guys because this is the latest one always recommended this one because this is the stable one okay got it you have to check the node version 14.11 do one thing all will go and install this node just into your uh, node just into your local and your machine then just check that the node node hyphen v just command uh, like press it just check that it's displaying node js or not okay for tomorrow class we'll go and start the first step of how to write a typescript means to compile why node is required let me repeat it again to compile the uh, your uh, node.js application to compile your typescript application in your local machine we require the node.js dependency because node.js is used to compile this node.js compile your typescript to javascript okay means in tomorrow class we'll go and learn how to create a javascript typescript file and how to compile the javascript file and how to display it got it okay so your task will be for tomorrow please go and install the node node install this node and check that is node is working or not okay okay and another task for tomorrow just i i want to say you <clears throat> just a second In JavaScript, what you have to do, you have to define a form. You have to define a form. And this form, you have two text box. Or you have two text box. Okay. And what will happen? The first text box is your number one. Second text box is your number two. And if you go and click on this button, okay, this is a button, you need to display some. If I whatever value i'm going to enter here and whatever value I'm going to enter here if i click on sum i need to display the sum of these two number text box okay please go and search on internet how you can do that and tomorrow like um, not tomorrow day after tomorrow we'll go and discuss about how to access the element of a java like uh, html okay for, but this is for you go and spend some time do this kind of programming means you have two text box and you have a button if you go and click this button i need to dis i need to display the sum of these two number okay this is for your task you have to explore you have to learn from all these things and tomorrow we'll go and discuss about the typescript before i know all these things okay uh, before we end up all these things anyone any question on this please let me know okay someone asked me regarding this um, recording okay guys we are providing this recording we are uploading all this file the last file last weekend is not able to possible but anyhow we are going to send this week okay no worries okay anyone any question sorry please can you please explain const concept sir const const one right yes sir okay <clears throat> okay you just see it here what happening in case of const const means constant constant always known that constant means always fixed right const another term is fixed if you declare a variable called suppose abc and we assign a value later you can change the abc you can define another value right later also you can go and change the value to any other things but in case of const what will happen once you declare a variable you have to give a value that is a rules means once you declare a variable you have to give a value later you cannot go and change the value of this variable that is only difference between a let or or a where or a 
डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉन्स्ट मीन्स दिस वैल्यू इज ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंट यू कैन नॉट चेंज दिस वैल्यू बट वेर एज इफ यू डिक्लेयर ए लेट और डिक्लेयर ए भैर यू कैन गो एंड चेंज द वैल्यू इट्स अप टू योर रिक्वायरमेंट दैट इज द ओनली डिफरेंस बिटवीन भैर एंड लेट और लाइक कॉन्स्टेंट इट्स ए कॉन्स्ट मीन्स इट्स ए फिक्सड यू कैन नॉट चेंज द वैल्यू व्हाट एवर वैल्यू यू गिविंग इट हियर सो वी गिविंग ट्वेंटी वन Throughout the 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 program, voting age is is always be 21. It's not going to change at all. If you're going to change, then you, you, you already see that, right? If you're going to change, it's giving you the error. Right? The variable is already assigned because already declared. That is the use of const. Const means constant. Once you declare a value, it's not going to change. It's always fixed for you. Fixed for the browser. Fixed for the compiler. It's not going to change it. What is the use of all these things? const we will going to explain now the later class first we have to understand like const means it's a constant one it's not going to change at all yeah thank you sir then where is a global let uh, uh, let is a local scope then what is uh, then const is a who scope okay there is a no concept of scope in uh, const as i told the const is a define the constant means example let me show you same thing nice question i expected this question if you define the voting age in this scope mean this is the scope example let me show you actually const means you declaring a variable which value is fixed means if just imagine if it's from this bracket it's going to work for this one this const means always remember the const is not to going to change right there is no scope of const it's only change is which of the scope is the const is going to define it is a scope mean inside this it's a scope suppose inside this this is a scope what i'm trying to say to here only scope will come in the concept of let and var whereas in case of const is just a variable defining just a value is fixed but as the concept scope of all these things scope is only going to define when you are going to add between one of the function or one of this curly bracket start curly bracket end means this scope inside this but this scope and this scope total different what i am trying to say to here just imagine this example you cannot define a constant for loop right because constant is always constant just imagine this one if we declaring declaring var here this var is going to access outside this for loop okay But if I declare the let, it's going to only inside this scope, not outside the scope. That is called the concept of a scope. Just imagine if you declare a variable called const, then there is a const. There is no concept of const of the. There is no concept of the scope because once you declare, where you declare, that is the scope of this voting edge. Means if you declare outside of this one, means what will happen? This con this voting edge will be accessed from he. Inside this script, okay. And same way, if you go and declare a function, okay. If you declare a function, suppose uh, ABC, suppose add, and you define something inside that, the scope of this const inside this only. But what I am trying to say it here, I am talking about this kind of scope. Means in for loop, I am declaring this let. This let is local to this, but If I declare a var, this var is going to access inside the scope as well as it's going to access outside the scope. That kind of scope I'm talking. Okay, if you declare a variable here, means it's going to access all the places, right? But just imagine difference between var and uh, this let. This for loop using var means I'm expecting this I should not be access outside, right? But due to the variable is a global scope. If I go and add this var, it's going to access outside this curly bracket. But if you go and declare a let, it's only going to access inside this scope. It's not going to access outside the scope. Okay, means as I told, scope always be the curly bracket. Means this is the one scope start, scope end. Whatever is going to define inside that, that is a scope. Same way. If you go and declare your voting age inside this, means this voting age scope is always be inside that. They will ask, what is the difference between let and voting let and const? As I told, let is define a variable same as var, 
but const is a variable const is a also declaring a variable but the value is always constant clear 